Named after Evergreen Suffolk-based research station, Levington Compost has been the professional gardener's go-to for over 50 years. It was introduced to consumers in 1967 and has continued to be the choice of gardeners who enjoy getting stuck in and getting their hands dirty. The portfolio includes the Levington John Innes range, which, as the name suggests, carries the John Innes Manufacturers Association seal of approval. Dating all the way back to the 1930s, John Innes composts are particularly useful for long-term planting, thanks to their super stable compost structure, whereas soil has a tendency to collapse over time. Their loam content provides a high level of buffering, which helps to avoid fluctuations in water and nutrient supply and makes them easy to manage. What really sets John Innes compost apart from the others is its recipe, which is made up from a combination of peat, loam and sand or grit in very specific proportions. Look for the John Innes Manufacturers Association seal of approval to be sure that the correct combination has been used. It's what gives each John Innes product its unique structure. Of all the ingredients, loam is the most crucial. It acts like a storage facility, holding on to excess nutrients and water to effectively create a reserve of plant food and water which is ready and waiting for your plants when they need it. Each John Innes mix includes different fertilizer levels based on the needs of a plant at its different life stages. In the same way that we grow from a baby to a toddler, to a teenager, and then to an adult, plants grow from seeds to seedlings, young plants, and mature plants. Let's check out the different John Innes mixes in more detail. First up is the Levington John Innes seed and cutting mix in which peat and loam are combined with sand and a low level of fertilizer. What this does is encourages seeds and cuttings to grow strong, healthy roots that can easily move through the compost and feed on the appropriate food levels as they go, resulting in nice, healthy shoots and leaves. Just like babies, seed roots are really delicate, which means that they need to be treated with care when they're ready to be moved into individual pots. And that's why there's sand in the mix. It helps tease out the baby roots out of the compost without damaging them. Moving on to the Levington John Innes number one. It has the same combination of peat and loam with added grit that helps it drain well in the larger pots that the seedlings need. There's still a low level of feed in this mix to make sure the tender young roots don't get burned, similarly to how babies move from milk to soft food. Once the roots have fully explored the compost, your plant is ready to move on again. As a toddler, grows into a teenager, they need more food and space, just as our plant requires a larger pot that contains Levington John Innes number two. This mix contains a higher level of fertilizer, as well as the balance of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace elements that make up the 11 essential nutrients for healthy plant growth, which are in all of these products. Choose a new pot that's a size or two larger than the current one and put a layer of compost in the bottom. Make sure that your plant is well watered before you move it. Then place it in the middle of the new pot and add compost around the sides before firming lightly. It's important to maintain the same level of compost as the old pot, so don't add compost on top. You may want to leave some plants in John Innes number two, but you will need to start feeding them after six to eight weeks as they'll have used up all the food reserves. If your plant is one that'll continue to grow bigger, it'll be time to move again after six to eight weeks, either into a larger pot on its own, or maybe into a container or border with other plants. As your plant 
becomes an adult and needs even more space, you'll need to bring in Levington John Innes number three. Its grit and loam helps to maintain structure for longer, avoiding the tendency to collapse over time. That additional grit and loam also adds weight to the mix, making it effective at stabilizing large patio pots so that they don't blow over in high winds. After six to eight weeks, you should start feeding your plant with supplementary liquid like Tomorite plant food. There's even Levington John Innes ericaceus. For special plants, which are acid loving or lime hating, such as azalea, camellia, and rhododendrons. It has a moderate level of plant food and a lower pH level with less lime in it than what's in the John Innes 1, 2, and 3. John Innes ericaceus can be used when you take cuttings of plants in any size pot or container. It's really handy when your native soil isn't suitable. You can find a John Innes product for all of your plants, whatever stage they're at, and be proud of every single one.